Hello, this is Genosis episode 3 of Subnautica Below Zero, the Hardcore Vegetarian Challenge. Man, that intro is going to kill me. Alright, those are almost charged up. So today's objective. So last thing we did was get set up in this base. We got some, uh, well, a little bit of food growing. It's coming. And uh, we are, you know, we have a modest amount of uh, food supply here. But water is a problem, but I have a solution. I would like to head over to Outpost Zero. Take those batteries here in a second. I'd like to head over to Outpost Zero. Well, I suppose I can open up the map and illustrate it. Here we go. Yeah, Outpost Zero is pretty much straight north of roughly where I am, so that shouldn't be hard to find. So there's like a little bit of an underwater thing to get up there. Well, maybe it's not underwater. Yeah, actually, it kind of is. There's a little bit of underwater thing. A tunnel leads there, and there's a ton of schematics there that I'd like to get. So, yep, just enough talking to get the batteries done. That was my plan all along. <laughs> All right, let's uh, find our sea truck. Oh, you know what? Which needs repairs. Let's see the uh, air escaping from it now. Welcome aboard, uh, Yeah, yeah, maybe I should get that done right away. Looks like the repair tool is ready to go. Silicon rubber, crystal, and sulfur. Perfect. I'm glad I grabbed the sulfur. Now, there's two changes that I've made since the first two uh, episodes in the last weekend. Uh, one is that you'll probably ought to have noticed there is a heart rate monitor in the lower left hand corner considering this is a permadeath series and uh underwater makes me nervous it might be kind of an entertaining uh metric to have on screen so that's fun let me just uh, fix this up Ooh, 52 percent all right all set to go so yes yeah, so uh that's one thing the other thing is i installed another mod and i'm trying to be careful with them because i don't want to trivialize the game but one thing that's always bugged me is the really ineffective um, material or the um, uh, mineral detector. So I upgraded it. So it the range has expanded, um, I think, from 100 to 200 meters. Yeah, so it doesn't find some things. But also, it gives a distance. So th this one is up 9 meters and forward 26 meters. All right, and there we go. Easy to find. So this is how it probably should have worked. Maybe some will disagree, but it, otherwise, it was just like you have to be right on top of it, like pretty much within viewing distance, but otherwise. So uh, this one makes it much more useful. All right, so as I was saying, let's head to Outpost Zero, which is going to be, yes, this way. It's kind of near the emergency supply cache, but I believe it's a bit to the east of that. All right, so we're pretty close to the, uh, the drop pod location. And if you head up north, uh, you'll see the uh, icy barrier. Excuse me, fish. Um, now, I don't have to eat you, <laughs> but if I run into you, that totally doesn't count. All right, so we're heading off this way. If we follow the edge, and then you'll kind of see this area where it dips down. And I believe there's some anemone hearts. Uh, not enemy hearts, that sounds way more metal. But I think it's called, I think they're called anemone hearts. Uh, yeah, right here, which actually supplies a good amount of hydration along with food. There we go, a uh, frost anemone heart. So uh, we'll grab some of these, and these provide 20 food, 10 water. So that can help us top, top, up, a bit, top up a bit, geez. There we go, full up in water. So if you, uh, maybe, you can maybe make a base location near here. I believe these actually even respawn. But uh, that, that will be a good source of food. Let's grab a couple for the road. Our foods are low, but I do have um, some food on me. So we should be okay. So we're almost there. Just got to follow this uh, ridge a little longer here. And it should dip up into a path leading to Outpost Zero. And just like that, here we go. So you'll know you hear about, you'll see the, uh, the uh, heat plants or heating plants, wherever they're called. Um, that's when you know in the right spot. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is it. This is a path that leads you to post zero. Now, there would have been... Actually, the map would have told you how to find this place. That's usually how you get here. So yeah, this is a lot of great stuff here. Now, the most important thing... Uh, give me a scanner out. Ooh, you know what? I need to put a battery in there. Most important thing being the uh, water purifier. I mean, we could scan a snowman, but who cares? Another thing would be these guys right here, the prawn suit fragments. You won't find all you need here but this will give you a head start. 
Ooh, we're cold. We're cold. I uh, realized there was a storm in our... You know, heat was going down a lot faster. Okay, this is it. There... Oh. Huh. I don't think I've had uh, the alien guy with me whenever I came here. I think I came here first, usually. All right, so there's a lot of things to scan, uh, such as the multi-purpose glass dome. Now, there are some lantern fruit. I, th I think something changed about these. What was it? Provides heat. A lot of body heat. So that could be handy to have. We'll grab... Uh, I'll grab one. I'll grab two. In case I need to eat one. All right, so we're going on a scanning kick. So the biggest thing right here will be this water filtration machine. I think I called it a few different things. But this will allow us to be a lot more sustainable. There we go. So there's... Oh, a uh, power cell charger. Also very important because uh, I'm running low in juice. Bulkhead is handy. Yeah, what will happen if your uh, structure, your base takes damage... Uh, these bulkheads would prevent flooding in some more important locations. Ooh, the large room's a good one. Yeah, look at the size of this room. This is a uh, lots of room for activities. Vending machine is handy for it's um, mostly decorative, but you can actually get some food out of it. Now this right here is a jukebox disc. That's my favorite song, um, "Survive by Divide," I think. So it's it's a very catchy song. I actually played it for um, my first series. Is part of a, of a montage. I really enjoyed it. Here's another thing. The uh, control room. Which is handy for uh, modifying, uh, customizing colors, that kind of thing, of your base. So it's a kind of handy thing. It also gives you a waypoint to your base. Which is handy so you don't need a beacon all the time. There's not a lot of things to scan here. Because I think I've... Yeah, again, I usually come here first because it's so close to your drop point. And I usually scan a lot of the stuff ahead of time. So uh, we don't need a lot of these things now. So makes it quick. Uh, to trip a little quicker. All right, moving off to the uh, kind of the quarters, I suppose. We got Sam's, like your sister's. Yeah. Sam's base. Your sister's area for this area. All the way out here. Or your sister's bed for this uh, this outpost. Okay, window could be very handy. And a simple single bed, if that's your thing. Uh, who remembers this one? Uh, yeah, this. Uh, that was a very difficult moment for me. That was very heartbreaking, watching that ship explode. Alright, I think this will about do it. So let's head on out. Uh, here's an alternative spot for a seed light fragment. And out here, in this box, is another location for the builder fragment. So that's uh, particularly handy to find. I think that's all I'm missing here. I guess the floodlight's a nice thing to have, too. Alright, that about does it. Again, there's not much else here that's worth scanning or finding. Especially what goes what goes down that path. That's pretty much where the game ends. Again, um, I should almost preface all of these episodes with spoiler alert, alerts, but I did, you know, suggest many many times to go watch the full series I playthrough I did on Not a Game of Gaming. The link is in the description as a reminder to anyone that might have uh, missed that part. Okay, so with that, you know, achieved. Pop in here. We go into our truck, and uh, oh, we're gonna skip that call from Alan, because uh, I think we're all sick of hearing that guy. Now, one of Alan's calls likely told us about a nearby artifact in the monkey caves. So I'm going to take a second and grab it since I'm in the area. The artifacts are not just uh, something to progress the story. There's a lot of valuable alien technology that it can unlock that you can craft later, such as alien cells and uh, teleporters and that kind of stuff. Really neat stuff. It looks like the alien thing's down here. So uh, instead of winding through that tunnel, I'm just going to go through uh, in person. It'll just be a lot quicker. All right, so we follow the root system down. And then it looks like it's in this direction. Maybe it wasn't the tunnels that were connected. And I just had a hard time finding how it connected. Oh, hey, look at that. Laser cutter fragment. Oh, uh, thank you. Appreciate that, you monkey. Oh, did I know about the spot? Hold on. This blew us up, blew up on us. Did I know about the spot? Yeah, I think I did. This is a thermal, thermal spot that would be good for some energy. I mean, if you want to set up a base nearby, you could uh, chain a power link all the way there. Oh, hey, it's just here. Ah, dang it. Oh, okay, maybe this is where it is. It leads down here. Is that down here? 
I don't see anything to scan. Um, yeah, I'm really getting turned around here. Maybe I should turn this... Oh, wait, I think I see where that might be. Yeah, there it is. So, I need to head... Uh, this way, I think? Okay, so that line that's leading up from there shows where we are. Oh, I think we're heading in the right direction now. Oh, uh, thank you for more titanium. I probably should uh, change my... Uh, put some... pin something on there so they'll give me some more interesting stuff. Um, was I here? Yeah, there's a little... Uh, okay, screw it. I'm going to take a sea monkey egg. Uh, lead? Where did that lead come from? Huh. Oh, here we go. Kind of tough to see, but there's a little wedge in down here. And here's the artifact. There we go. It will help when you follow. All right, blah, blah, blah. My network, uh, my body. All done. Okay, so that's what we needed down here. And again, once you collect enough of those pieces, you start to unlock some really, really handy stuff. Uh, among them are my favorite are the um, alien power cells. So that way you can have a lot of energy for... Uh, I'm trying to find out how to get out now. A lot of energy for your uh, your sea truck and runs out a lot less quickly. Okay, I'm going to pin Aerogel and then unpin those other things. Uh, unpin, unpin. There you go. Because it's like a ruby or or the uh, gel sacks. So I don't think they can give you ru uh, gel sacks. So maybe they might give me rubies. What's that? Uh, copper. Well, copper's still handy. Thanks, buddy. I think we're good to go. Wow, that was a quick way out here. That was definitely closer than when I went in. Uh, there we go. It's 150 meters. We'll get the truck. And then uh, see what we'll do now. I'm trying to think, what do I need for the water purifier or the water filtration system? So we need copper wire aerogel. Okay, so for that we just need rubies. Oh, because we do have gel sacks. And I still need to find the outdoor um, planters. So I can uh, actually I'll grab one of these. I'm not sure if I have one. I can plant one later. But uh, yeah, I think I need the outdoor... Ah, shush. But yeah, the outdoor planter so I can grow all those advanced plants. Alright, so I'm going to go drop off back at base, which is like marked as mm, location beacon number two, if I can find it. There we go. Right, here's the base. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to move that beacon. Um, can I just ram this guy to death? Here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, well, that didn't take much at all. I wonder if those respawn. Because if they, they don't, um, I'm going to kill all of them and not have to worry about their chattering ever again. Well, since I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and move this beacon. Yoink. This just looks like it's dangling precariously over a, over a gorge of some kind. All right, let's pop out of here. Now, uh, do I have anything in storage I probably should take out? I think I emptied everything out already. Oh, actually, you know what? I probably should take that... That just takes up space. And I'll have to pop it into a bioreactor eventually. Oh, god damn it. There. Alright, that's all we need. Uh, there should be, like, hold shift and click in order to edit locker name. That would be a very good quality of life thing, because I keep clicking on that, and I don't want to change the name of it. I just want to get inside. Alright, Sue. So, welcome, welcome aboard. aboard. Alright, so I'd like to get my uh, habitat builder back out. And uh, see about building a cell charger. There you go, power cell charger. This will go neatly right beside this. There, simple as that. So while we're uh, kind of fumbling around, let's uh, pull out the cells out of here, which you can do right from here. Yoink. And another power cell over here, because it takes two. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Power cell's on. I like how the light's dimmed. It's a, a nice touch. Here we go. So power cells go in here. Gotcha. Okay, that's going to do its thing. Now, uh, I just thought about... Ooh, this is growing nice. I thought about a good use of my time in the meantime. And what I'd like to do is head into the mining facility below. Which, let me eat one of these. Hmm. Uh, yeah, eat one of those. And um, also get hit down the mining facility below. I don't have room for that. And see about getting some additional schematics down there. I believe I can get the other prawn suit and the drill schematic which could be very, very good for resources. All right, first let's get our beacon out while I'm thinking about it. Right here seems to be a spot. Well, that home base. All right, here we go. All right, let's head on down here. Very easy to access. Like, uh, once we get the prawn suit operational, this will be a very 
convenient spot for me. Is there a monster clipping, clipping down into that? Okay, let's uh, not worry about that too much. Anyways, down here, big old mining facility, bunch of stuff to scan, and I'm trying to not to freak out because there's a lot of long range swimming down here. So, uh, ooh, what's this? I forget what this was. Um, moon pool. Signal oh. location uploaded to PDA. Wait, what did, what did you just give me? All right, you know what? I just thought about something I need down here. Oh, sea truck dock. Nice. Uh, that is a new addition. I have not um, used that in a series because that is a brand new item they added in an update. So you can actually dock the sea truck directly instead of like with like with the uh, even with your consoles attached to your consoles, but your modules attached. Very handy. I'd like to build one, but it's probably not going to happen right away. But yes, what I want right now is the laser cutter. I believe I have everything I need. Except for crystalline sulfur. Okay, that's actually not far away. It's actually, can we use the mineral detector for this? Uh, fragment. Oh, wait, wait, there it was. Crystalline sulfur searching. Okay, so not quite nearby. But I believe if I head uh, towards the island. Hold on. Uh, can I just get... There we go. If I head towards uh, this, the Delta Station dock, I think it's around there I can get some. Oh, you have a hit. 175 meters. This. Oh, you know what? It's probably right on land. You know what? Yeah, I bet you it's right over here. There we go. On land. Dock's just over there, but that's not where we want to go. I want to go right, right here. So, it's one here, and two more over there. So that's good already, but I'd actually like to maybe hit the other uh, node over here and get some more as well as maybe grab some extra gold while I'm here. All right, so it's up in this little cliff here. Can I just jump? Ah, dang it. Can I Can I get up there? All right, interesting enough, okay, I can't really get up there, but I have an idea. And this might be crazy, and I'm going to freeze to death here in a second. Um, but if I take out my habitat builder, and I try building an eye compartment, like, somewhere's like... Uh, you know what? I don't have any titanium nearby. That's fine, whatever. Forget I asked. All right, so here's another, some more sulfur there and there, and uh, maybe not there. I'm trying to find out where that gold cave was, um, but you know what? Lots of sulfur, anyways. We're already got our objective for now. But again, I just want to maybe well grab as much resources as I can wherever I go. You had to go all the way up to the outpost and down and around here to get here. So this that's the only way to really get around to it. But it's a great spot for gold. So uh, yeah, I got lots of space. Let's just grab a bunch. I have grabbed most of it already. Let me just grab the copper since I'm right there. I think, oh, this one right there. There, just about full. And uh, yeah, then we'll head back. Okay, so a quick way back to the home base will be right down this cliff and into the water. Nice. I got nipped out a little bit, but uh, otherwise not worse for the wear. Okay, let's drop everything back in here and I get that. Well, I can craft this first off. There we go. Um, bum, bum, laser cutter. It's with the diamonds. You have a battery. Probably should make a spare battery while I'm at it. And let's say we're covered for gold. Ooh, our power cells are ready. Very nice. Yoink and yoink. And um, I think my... Oh, I don't have an extra battery anymore. There's a laser cutter. But I probably should make another couple batteries. Ribbon plants. Okay. Um, might be okay without it for now. But I'm going to swap out this battery and get this charged and uh, do that while I'm waiting. We're a bit thirsty, but I think I have some shrubs ready to go. So that gives us, um, ooh, five water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, that's not a lot. Uh, we're going to need some fluids. Actually, I'm going to eat that. I, I was going to, I thought I was going to maybe try to plant that. Couldn't recall if it was, but I don't think it will. So that's going to give us a bit more hydration, but that does present a problem. I'm going to need fluid really, really soon. So I'm going to pop out the habitat crafter here. Now to make the uh, air, the uh, water filtration system, I think, yeah, I, th I think I already checked that out. I need rubies. I need rubies. Um, you know what? I think it might be rubies down there. I can't get in here, jerk. 
All right, so uh, Ruby. So I wonder if I can just um, lift the middle salvage. Oh, hold on. Ruby. Yes, there is. Um, just five meters below? Oh, it's on the other side of this door. Okay, we need to go down and around. Okay, so at least I know there's some here. Now, ideally, we'll also find some chests around that could hydrate us, because that's going to be a problem. All right, so we're heading down here, and I think this might be where my heart rate, or heart rate monitor might get a little bit of exercise. So I've uh, had a lot of close calls down here. I might have even died down here once before. Um, did I see a root? Okay, that's a diamond. Right, well, I'll keep an eye out. I know there's rubies around. But right now, I'm more concerned about just getting stuff scanned and getting out of here. Okay, these uh, plants are to keep me going. And uh, here is something very important. We have the thermal plant fragments. And this will let us get a uh, significant source of power. There's the other part down here. Significant source of power where we are, and that was one of the main uh, reasons I chose the location. That's really going to be helpful. Right, here we go. That is a first aid kit. I'm pretty sure I'll find water down here. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, oh, hey, a Ronsu fragment. I think that'll be three out of four. Yes. Okay, I think this is the other side of the door, if I'm not mistaken. So if we take out our... Warning. 30 seconds oh, of oxygen remaining. Crap. Um, okay, that's not good. Okay, plant right over here. That is not fantastic. Okay, you know what? Yeah, my heart rate's going to probably skyrocket right now. I think I need to... Um, gosh. Um, that plant back up? Okay, alright. There's two plants here nearby, which I should be able to bounce back and forth with. But I feel like it doesn't do a lot of... a lot of oxygen. Like, it's running out real quick. So uh, I'm going to try to move forward here. There's another chest. I think I might need... Yeah, this. Cut it open. Power cell. Oh, that's handy. Oh, and a schematic. Um, scanner room. I think we already have that. Alright, there's a ruby right here. I think there's a, a plant down this way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, let's just scan this. Alright, I'm going to scan this arm because I'm like right here, but I'm uh, on edge. One, one or two, I know. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen um, remaining. Go back this way. Okay. Ooh. And there's another one right here. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I might be okay. There's a three in fairly rapid succession that I can grab. I just want to scan what I need and get the hell out of here. So, uh, oh, there's the other prawn suit fragment and the other drill arm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Now I've got both of those. Upper wire. And nothing else of interest. Okay, the air plant is back. Thank you. All right, so I do have the ruby I'm looking for. I would like another one if I can. I'm seeing diamonds and stuff. Um, let me get over to this plant. Then I'll pop up the mineral detector. Okay. Now, where's the ruby? 87 meters. That way. Uh, I only needed the one, right? Yeah, I think it's... Hold on, let me double check. Uh, water filtration, one. Okay, all right, I just need the one right now. I, I just want to get out of here. All right, grab the plant. Ooh. All right, and we're out. Now, I'm going to start... I'm starting a red line on... There's another builder fragment. I'm starting a red line on water, so I think we need to make an emergency pit stop and uh, maybe head up to the island. Oh, no, no, we probably have something... It's probably more horseshoe plants. I really need to plant more of those damn things. Oh, sweet base. Welcome oh. aboard, Captain. All right, there is a couple shrubs ready to go. So, yeah, we're going to need... Stabilizing. Man, I don't think I have time to wait for another one to grow. All right, let's just get this uh, filtration thing installed as soon as possible. Okay, I have it at Builders uh, back operational. Interior mod... No, interior piece. That's what it was. What a filtration machine. Oh, givey, givey, givey. Okay. So this will use up all of our power. So we need power pretty much right away. Can I make a bioreactor right now? Wiring kit. I think so. All right, to do that, we're going to need another floor. So let's make a bioreactor floor. Uh, Multi-purpose room and snap everything right to the bottom. All right, back in. 
And then now we'll make need to need to make a ladder. Get smack in the middle of the room. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. We'll put it over here, I guess. Okay, down. And here's our new room. So, um, what was it building? Bioreactor. Let's turn it towards the ladder. There, we have everything we need. Perfect. Almost out of power. So let me grab um, the postules I got down below, or the monkey caves. Get inactive. There you know. And then power. Bam. Active. Okay, so much more power now. See it on the top? It's uh, starting to... Seek fluid intake. Well, it's not climbing per se, but it's, uh, it's working. All right, so this... Uh, Oh, no, no. Uh, this has a while before I get some water. Uh, okay, so I'm going to empty out quick. And then maybe we'll go, go fill up at the uh, the island. All right, everything's ready to go. I have everything I need. There's an extra first aid kit, but we're going to load that into the sea truck. Here we go. Oh, oh, right, I don't have batteries. All right, number one and number two. All right, fully powered. And I'm going to uh, drop the extra cell in here. And I'll put the extra first aid kit in here. All right, so I am in pretty rough shape for fluids. But you know what? Um, yeah, I'm going to the Delta Station, fill up in Horseshoe, uh, whatever's. And then we'll head off to... Hmm, actually, you know what? That might have... Hmm, yeah, we might head off to uh, the Marguerite location. And uh, maybe scan some wreckage down there. All right, here we are, Delta Station. All right, I think it's around here. Yeah, in there you can get the horseshoe plants. Ah, uh, here we go. Perfect. All right, there we go. It's just eat. Oh, that's dropping them. Give me that. All right, there's just a eat all of that. Vital signs. Yum, 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 yum. All right, full. Awesome. Okay, with uh, that done, let's uh, get the heck out of here and uh, go check out that other location. All right, back to the truck. And uh, I did grab an extra couple of these, so we'll plant those later. All right, we got full power, full food and water and all that stuff. So let's head towards... I uh, do we have that beacon. Uh, which direction is that? Ah, there we go. Last known position, just around the corner. All right, as you head towards the pur past purple vents, towards the last known location, the um, part of the ship, I think is right on the edge, right here. So it's only about yeah, 400 some meters away. Now I'm not going to stop by here right now because I just thought of something that is way more useful. And that is down towards this location. Around there, there's a lot of schematics. Namely the advanced or the super air tank, whatever the hell it's called. I really need some more oxygen. Because that trip down to the... Uh, oh, some uh, truck parts down here. That trip down to that uh, lab may be really nervous. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so I need I need to get access to that oxygen. And that would make things a lot easier. Alright, so this is right above... Yeah, oh, yeah, thanks. That's, that's, a, that's a tip for the a nearby lab. Which uh, may not be another bad location to go. But right now, I'm going to be focused on getting that schematic. Oh, there's a truck part over here. What is that? The aquarium module. Yeah, I'm not particularly useful. Not at least not for this run. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. The ultra capacity tank fragment. Give me all of that. Let's talk about the useful stuff here too. This is all for uh, yeah thermal reactor module for the um, for the prawn suit. Uh, this lets you recharge by the uh, the heat around you, which is you know, kind of a neat uh, neat notion. Then we got the grappling arm, which is uh, if you play the first Subnautica, it's just what makes the prawn suit sing. It's just so awesome. Oh, sea, uh, sea truck horsepower upgrade. This lets you pull additional uh, modules without slowing down as much. Ooh, another tank fragment. Yeah, considering how my oxygen is. Yeah, one more of those. Uh, another thermal reactor. Ooh, what's that? Oh, nickel. Well, that's a handy grab for later. So now we can make hydrochloric acid. And here's an afterburn upgrade, which is basically like a, a turbo mode or a sprint. Um, that uses extra fuel or extra battery air power. Which, once you get the alien Walking power cells, you can do almost constantly. Remaining. Okay, let's take a bit of a breather. Okay. I'm going to have to give this a quick repair. 
Um, let's see, repair tool. I won't need the habitat builder right here. Even though kind of a cool spot for a base. Uh, okay, all fixed up. Just gonna pop in, take another breath, go look for the rest of those tanks. Yeah, you know, I just realized that the mineral frag fragment detector, right how it's called, can also scan for um, fragments. So ruby, nickel ore, quartz, copper, fragment. So, yeah, right. Oh, I mean, right in front of me, I guess. That works, too. Hey, there's the last one. Now, that is my main objective. All right, now we got another one, 60 meters in this way and 25 down. Here we go. This is another, this is probably the last of the thermal reactor modules. Which, uh, I suppose we could use. Oh, oh, Ruby. Oh, you're a treat. Can I give you a little pet? No, okay, I can't. Well, I just don't want to hit you. Okay, I already had that, I guess. Oh, another treat? Treat? Another treat? No, okay, never mind. Screw you then. Alright, next one is uh, 90 meters this way and 60 meters up. Oh, 65 meters. Okay, is it on surface? Maybe it's like a truck part. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Yay, aquarium module. All right, going for an oxygen run. Remaining. Yeah, yeah, I beat you to it. Ooh, another ruby. That's, uh, this is actually a really handy spot for it. Uh, nickels and ruby, you gotta find all over. You know, I'm inadvertently following the path towards Mercury's hidden base, so screw it. Let's, uh, give, uh, give that a scan as well. Didn't I tell you to stay away? No, you didn't. From what? Yeah, 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 dialogue. All right, here we go. And why can't I have this thing like look at this i want that attachment why can't i have that that looks awesome all right now for another jump scare watch my heart rate i'm not gonna be scared yay Ooh. now get off me please you smell like ass all right this is all part of the marguerite uh subplot also snow fox fragment that's handy for uh, later on but yes if you can grab um yeah the test override module that will later give you access to her greenhouse which will give you uh, access to the plants you need to make like the best food in the game. It's that uh, that salad that uh, heats you up and feeds you feeds you really well. Oh yes, also the sea truck perimeter defense upgrade, which essentially is um, you know anti Leviathan uh, you know module, which is pretty much the most important thing to get through a lot of that stuff. Basically makes uh, makes you invulnerable, well invulnerable, but you just zap them, run away, and just keep going. It's really handy. All right, so I'm going to stop right here. Uh, we have some more scanning to do underneath, so we're going to wait to save that for tomorrow. I do have everything I need to get the oxygen module, and I'm going to do that first thing when I get it back to base. But for now, I'm going to run around, do a little bit more scanning, but we'll get that tomorrow. This has been Genosis Episode 3 of Subnautica Below Zero, the hardcore vegetarian challenge. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. And if you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and catch us tomorrow where we continue getting additional schematics such as this thing right here, including the water filtration suit, which lets you drink your own pee and is pingling.